Can you imagine a time when health care will be available anytime and anywhere? When a child with diabetes that needs specialized services from an endocrinologist receives these services even though the specialist is hours away from where the child lives? When patients in the intensive care unit are monitored 24 hours a day by specialized physicians and nurses that assist local ICUs with limited clinical resources? When emergency responders at a serious accident work with trauma care specialists hundreds of miles away? When a senior citizen with congestive heart failure is monitored daily in their home to adjust medications and monitor their condition to reduce problems that require emergency room visits? The time is now. Telemedicine has made these and many other services available now in many rural and underserved areas of California. Telemedicine generally refers to the provision of clinical services from a distance. The Institute of Medicine of the National Academies of Science defines telemedicine as the use of electronic information and communication technologies to provide and support health care when distance separates the participants. Telemedicine uses video conferencing technologies and electronic communications to allow patients at one site to have a visit with the provider at a different site. I've been having some chest pains. Sometimes the distance is a few miles. Other times, telemedicine connects patients and providers that are thousands of miles apart. The video conferencing technologies used by telemedicine allow patients to see clinicians that are not at the same location. Video conferencing allows the patient and doctor to see and talk to each other like a live television broadcast. The tools used by clinicians to observe and collect vital information, such as otoscopes and stethoscopes, have been adapted so the clinician and patient can see and hear as if they were in the same room. The applications for telehealth can be categorized into three types, clinical services, educational services, and administrative support. Clinical service applications include primary and specialty care, support to ICUs, and chronic care monitoring. The second category, educational services, includes a variety of educational services that can be provided to both patients and clinical staff. The third category, administrative support, primarily consists of video conferencing applications that allow collaboration and meetings with multiple sites. Together, these three types of applications can provide services across many clinical care settings and situations. You will often hear the terms telemedicine and telehealth. What's the difference? Telemedicine generally refers to the provision of clinical services from a distance. Telehealth refers to a broader scope of remote services that includes telemedicine as well as continuing education for healthcare professionals, disaster preparedness, public health services, education programs, evaluation, and regional health information sharing. Telemedicine has been in the news recently, but its origins can be traced back 50 years. In the 1950s, NASA, working with the U.S. Public Health Service, transmitted images of electrocardiograms and radiographs from rural sites in Arizona for review by specialists in remote locations. As early as 1955, a closed-circuit television link was established to conduct psychiatric inpatient groups between the Nebraska Psychiatric Institute and the Norfolk State Hospital, 112 miles away. By the mid-1990s, many states began to develop telemedicine programs to provide health care services in rural areas where access to health care is limited. With the support of the Federal Health Resources and Services Administration, telemedicine programs began to grow and expand. Telehealth applications now cover the continuum of health care services from home monitoring to inpatient and intensive care services. Why is telemedicine and telehealth so important to our healthcare system? There are many important problems that telemedicine can help to resolve. The United States has serious shortages and maldistribution of clinicians and specialty providers. Telemedicine allows those physicians to be more readily accessible to more patients. 
telemedicine reduces the hardship, time, and costs that occur when families have to travel great distances to see necessary specialists. Telemedicine improves access to services in rural and underserved areas, which can reduce the overall cost of care by identifying and treating problems sooner. Telemedicine can positively impact care by providing translators for languages and for hearing impaired patients. Telemedicine provides support to rural clinicians in clinics, emergency departments, and intensive care units. Telehealth allows clinicians living in rural areas to obtain clinical education programs on site rather than requiring the clinician to travel long distances and allows for consultation and discussion of difficult cases between clinicians in different areas. Telemedicine can accomplish this while increasing patient satisfaction rates. Patients that can be seen promptly in their local community are more satisfied with their health care system than those that have to travel hundreds of miles for a short visit with a specialist. Most patients find the telehealth technology easy to adapt to and enjoy the telemedicine experience. Clinicians also report high satisfaction levels and those levels continue to increase as new innovations improve the quality of the audio and images and clinicians have more telemedicine encounters.